Oh, um, I'm sorry for speaking without being spoken to, but I noticed you're reading the words written on my box. You know, the ones that say, free dog to a good home. But it's got the word good scratched out. <sighs> yeah, uh, it says that for a good reason. I'm a bad dog. I don't deserve a good home. My previous owners told me that. I seriously recommend you pass me by and don't give me a second thought. Everybody else has. Don't make me scare you away with my teeth. Urgh. It's in your best interest. I mean, I'd just be a burden. Uh... Well, what do you mean, why? I'm outside. Naked, in a cardboard box. I smell. <laughs> like a dog. I wouldn't be in this type of position if I were a good dog. If I was a dog that people wanted, I'd be in a loving home. Where it's warm... There's a nice bed and blanket. Maybe a squeaky toy. But, you know, since I'm not, that means I'm undesirable. To be honest, I don't actually know why I am. Maybe it was the whole growling thing a second ago. I'm sorry, I'm not usually like that. I always did the best I could. I mean, I got punished a lot in my old home. So, I think it's fair to say that I probably am a bad dog. Really? You don't think I am? Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that, but Oh, hey, what are you... Ah, you're picking me up? <laughs> Sir, you're adopting me? I warned you against it, sir. But if my warnings weren't enough to deter you... Well, I guess I can't stop you. You're much bigger than me. Huh? Huh? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I promise I won't show my teeth again. I'll try to be as obedient as I can for you. I promise. Don't be surprised if, in a few weeks, you kick me out like my old owners did. You won't. Well... Forgive me again, sir, for talking out of turn, but I feel like it might be too early to judge that. I mean, they had me for 18 years, since I was a wee little pup, and it took them this long to get rid of me. What do you mean, why am I calling you sir? It's only respectful... Is it not respectful enough? Oh, sir, uh, mister, boss, dude, guy, I'm so sorry. Um, what should I call you? Oh my goodness. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. I make all kinds of basic mistakes like this. I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again. I'll call you Master. Is Master okay? That's far more respectful, right? I should call you your name. Forgive me, sir. Master. Boss. Uh, sir. I, I just can't. We are not equals. 
humans have authority over animal people like me. And I learned my place a long time ago. My old masters taught it to me. They taught me so much, but it did take them quite a while. And I did get a lot of cookies for it. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I apologize, sir. I'm just a pet. I'm a, a toy to be played with. Maybe that's why you're taking me home. You didn't know any of that other stuff. You just legitimately don't know any better. Well, of course I believed my old owners. They were superiors. I could only assume they knew everything there was to know about... Well, everything. They knew that I would screw up. They knew that I deserved the punishments they gave me. They knew that I was inferior to them. They knew that I needed a pack and someone to follow. Hmm? You want to give me a command? <laughs> Sir, master, uh, yes, anything. I know so many, sir. I know spin and sit and woof. <laughs> I can't promise I'll always do it right, but I will try my best. And if I screw it up, well, don't worry. I can take a lot of punishment. Huh? You want me to... Stop saying mean things about myself. Well, Master, I'm only stating what my old owners told me. If you want, I can try to stop. But it might take me a little while to change how I think of myself. But if you want to try, I won't stop you. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's actually kind of nice to not be yelled at for talking when I'm not supposed to. Oh, is this our new house, sir? Um, before I'm locked in my room, may I take a look around? Mm. <laughs> Mmm, there are so many interesting smells here. So many things I don't recognize. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's for cooking. Hmm, that's so cool. A machine for cooking bread. You have different machines for cooking different foods? Is there a meat cooking machine? Mm. <laughs> mm, now I'm hungry. Oh, did you want to eat something, sir? I could just have your scraps. You don't need to worry about me. That's what I did at my old home. That's actually why I'm so thin. What? Oh my. Really? My own meal? And my own dish? I, sir, I, I couldn't possibly. I, <laughs> no, I don't want to mooch off of you like that. That is far too much for little old me. Especially since you were so kind to me by bringing me into this house. And not hitting me for talking out of turn. And explaining to me what the bread cooker does. It's okay, I'm already too much of a burden. I couldn't take a meal from you, sir. Even though... Mmm, it does smell heavenly. No, no, please, have as much as... 
Um, yes, sir. If that's an order, then... Well, I guess I'll have a full meal. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That is far too nice. Um, if I may be so bold, sir. One time in my old home, I got the leftovers from this thing that was like a disc of meat. It had two round, squishy things surrounding it. And, uh, oh my god. Mm, it was so good. And then I never got it again. I'm sorry for getting drool on your floor, sir. Oh my. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean by the disc of meat? You think maybe I could have one? Please? Oh! Huh? Why did I flinch? Well, I uh, thought you were going to hit me for overstepping bounds. Rather than accepting what's been given to me. You won't punish me for that? Oh my. Sir, thank you. That's far more generous than I deserve. Uh, sir, before you go make our meals, could I ask you a question? How do I phrase this? Uh, why are you being so nice to me? I mean, you've asked me not to say anything mean about myself, but from everything I've been told throughout my life... I don't deserve this kindness. I'm just a mutt. I don't deserve any of it. And to hear such staunch belief that I do, and that my old owners were wrong, it's just... it's shattering my world view. It's kind of making my brain hurt. I... I hope you understand, with my troubled past, how I'm having trouble believing you when you encourage me like that, sir. But I want you to know I do appreciate the kind words. And I promise, for as long as you believe, for whatever reason, that I'm a good dog... I'll do my best to make you proud.